afternoon, everyone. My name is Charlotte, this is William and Eleanor. And today we will be playing for you Ravel's Piano Trio, which was composed in 1914, right before the start of World War I. Ravel began attending the Paris Conservatory at the age of 14, and he also studied composition with Gabriel Faure. Ravel was known for his impressionistic style, which is an artistic style um, that seeks to capture feelings and emotions and experiences rather than portraying accurate depictions. With this in mind, we have tried very hard over the past five days to try to unravel all the intricate harmonies and melodies within this piece. Now, as you listen to this piece, we hope that you will find that Ravel has created a world of sounds and colors, of textures, and he almost compacts an entire orchestral score into three instruments um, in rather sparse writing, uh, we'd say. Many coaches and artists have come into our sessions and um, told us what they thought this piece meant to them. Some have thought that it's like being in space and floating through the abyss, seeing planets and the darkness looming ahead, while others have thought that it's more like, like birds being freed from a cage and, and singing and flying their way up over mountains and hills. Um, so we hope that today you can pick your color and your story to find for this piece. In addition, um, a specific color that Ravel uh, creates, um, he, he does it through um, the Zortziko rhythm that he uses. Now, um, Zortziko is a Basque dance, and Ravel's mother was Basque. So Ravel often associated himself with Basque culture, and the, this is why he included the rhythm um, of the Zortziko, which goes three plus two plus three. Or in other words, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three. So we hope you can spot that throughout this piece. So Ravel was quite a meticulous man. And because of that, when we put this movement together, we had to um, put great attention to our matching our tone, sound quality, and the different colors which Ravel wanted in each section. Um, in the Impressionist paintings that greatly influ influenced Ravel, each and every stroke were essential to create the different textures and colors that brought the canvas to life. So as we play each stroke today, we invite you to transport yourself to the gallery of artwork which we are about to create. Thank you. <laughs> 